Today we're going to look at two electrical systems of the Wii roll, the 110 and the 12 volt. This is the 110 system. This 110 system on mine is a 30 amp system. This is a twist lock plug. It's common to RVs. You put it in there, you twist it, and you screw that tight. That's 30 amps. It's feeding a breaker box in mine on the other side with 20 amp breakers as well as 15 amp breakers. Then there's a main 30 amp breaker that I have in there. I've got it temporarily hooked up to a 15 amp extension cord. That's because this is 110. Do not mix this up with uh, 220 because it might look like a dryer extension cord, but it is anything but. You'll mess up your systems if you mix those two up. Let's go ahead and keep talking about the 110 and go inside. You'll see what I've got here. And I wired mine myself. They had stubbed these out and I finished this up. I've got a few outlets in here. This one, a couple in the back, a GFCI over here that feeds an outlet to the outside so it's GFCI protected. This is my breaker box. Even though I wired this myself, this is standard how we roll pretty much has been wiring them with a couple of exceptions. I'm using this breaker right here as my 30 amp main. My 30 amp main, so if I throw that, all my electric, uh, electrical goes off. And then I'm using this one as a 20 amp, which feeds my air conditioner, has a pretty high draw on the back. And then I have two 15 amps. One of those goes to those GFCI protected outlets that's in line. And the other one goes to this front outlet that I showed earlier. Well, that's the breaker box. I also took the trouble to do a frame ground within here. And the frame ground's in here and feeds back over here to the frame, which this, this bench is connected directly to the frame. I added this outlet in here. You can do that with some conduit and come into a side box like this. That's very handy for many things that you may have. So that's the 110 system in a nutshell. The 110 system you need shore power for, of course, at a campground or at home or anything like that. Now, when you go on the road, you need a 12 volt system. It's up to you what to do. We roll takes all the lights that they have put in as you agreed, and they will put those all out on the tongue traditionally. Now, I pulled mine back through. Let me show you where that comes in. So this is the 12 volt system. I pulled mine back through into the uh, inside of the Wii Roll, and I have it fed by a deep cycle battery. Now, this could be any deep cycle battery, preferred deep cycle, not an automotive type battery. The deep cycle battery in this case is a LifePo lithium phosphate battery, and it gets uh, incredible uh, longevity in it. And you can take the difference in this 100 amp battery compared to a similar lead acid battery is that you can take this draw and go all the way down almost to total discharge without damaging the battery. So you get a longer life span out of it. Now I looked at doing an RV converter that would both provide my system with the 110 and the 12 volt and do the charging and all that. I decided it wasn't needed. I have a very lightweight 12 volt usage traditionally, at least initially. And I decided in investing in a very good automatic float charger. It's a float charger plus it's a full full time charger. This one that I opted for is a Victron with the 13 amp is the is the uh, full power it can put out. And that means 13 amps per hour it would put back into the battery, I believe it is. So if you bleed your battery down, you divide that by 13, and that's approximately how long it takes to come back. So some people put a 20 amp in there, or even smaller, at a 7 amp, but I put a 13 amp. This one does an excellent job, I've already discovered, of coming up to the uh, voltage and uh, amperage and then um, tabling that back to a float. And that means just maintaining the battery and just kicking in enough amps as needed. So when I turn on my lights in here in the Wii Roll like I have on now, uh, it's actually charging a little bit when I'm connected. When I'm disconnected on the road, this gives me plenty of power to go down the road. Also, I could put an inverter on this and I could run my refrigerator for a very short amount of time, maybe a day or so with this battery. Day and a half, I think I've calculated at least a day and a half. I've calculated. So that's the two systems that I have in my Wii Roll, uh, the 12 volt and the 110, and that includes the Victron charger and then uh, the battery that it, I ended up going with. So uh, what else can we talk about today? I'll give you a, a quick uh, review of the outlets that I have in here for the 110 system. 
Uh, again, I added this one, uh, and then the other outlets. For, standard from we roll is you get one outlet up here in the front, one outlet in the back, near the where the air conditioner uh, portal would be, and you get, I believe, one more outlet on the other side. I had them add a couple outlets, plus I added this one. I had one specified out for here, <clears throat> and I've got uh, one outlet underneath the bed in here. That's the 15 amp I talked about. It's got a GFCI outlet on there is protection and then it feeds through this through the wall here this outlet over here which is also protected and it's weatherproof as well and that's why it's a gfci so that's the 110 outlets that i have in my rig let's go back over to what they put in for the 12 volt outlets as standard they'll give you i believe one interior light and i think that's all you get i put two in i had two put in and then I had uh, I have a, a scare light on the outside. They also give you these charging stations, and they have uh, USB ports, 12 volt ports. So there's usually one up front, and then there's one in the back. I'm going to move this one a little bit because it's right over my bed. And then uh, one thing to note is that they're using these that have a bright blue LED. I took mine apart and took a screwdriver and just pressed on it until it went out. So that's the 110 systems. That's the 12 volt systems. And that's how I did mine. Now you may do yours differently. This would support a generator in this case. All I would do is plug in my 110 on the outside. And the generator would provide the rig with the 110 that it needs. And of course it would be charging my battery at the same time because I have an automatic charger. By the way, that Victron charger has Bluetooth on it so you can see down to the detail, everything that's happening. Also has customized settings I put in there for my LifePo 4 battery that I looked up online. If you have questions about that, you can comment below and I'll point you to where I found those. All right. Thanks for watching this detailed report of how the electrical is hooked up in my Wii Roll. Yours may be different. I'm not an electrician, so uh, take that under advisement as well. And please subscribe, like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching the channel.